Hey, uh, new. Hey, so I heard you wanted to see me before the Friday the 13th thing with Joe, Bob, and Darcy. Yeah, hey, Ghostface. Thanks for coming. Uh, call me Frank. But, uh, hey, we need to talk. It's about Lily's article that came out uh, just a few weeks ago. That was one hell of an article, eh? You could say that. Um, but look, hey, Ghostface, I've been talking to the higher echelons of the mutant fam, and we're kind of concerned about your growing attacks on Jason Voorhees. Yeah, that dude's a piece of crap. Yeah, look, we've been discussing your membership in the fan, and your rhetoric has caused us to question whether or not you're a good fit for what the Mutant Fan will be doing this Friday the 13th. We've taken a close look at the article and what you did during Horrible 2020 to try and shame Jason Voorhees. <laughs> yeah, that was hilarious. And we're noticing that you're becoming more of a liability than a, a representation for the site that we hoped you would be. So we're discussing it, and we've come up with an ultimatum. Uh, ultimatum? Yes, Ghostfake, an ultimatum. We're revoking your membership until you can prove your devotion to Jason Voorhees. Prove my devotion? Yes, you must pledge your loyalty to the Camp Crystal Lake Killer, the Sultan of Stab, the Titan of Tarot. Hey, yeah, uh, no. I'm gonna cut you off right there. First, nobody puts Ghostfake in the corner. Second, go fist yourself, Frank. And third, that's a bunch of bullshark. I don't pledge allegiance or loyalty to anything or anyone. I figured you were going to say that, and we had a backup plan just in case. And you will suffer through it until you agree to what we're demanding. And what exactly are you demanding? You will do an episode on the ultimate killing machine. Nope. Not doing it. There is nothing I'd rather do less. So, no thanks. Go suck Jason Borges' machete. Peace. I'm out. All right, Ghost Fake, you've left me with no choice. I hereby banish you from MutantFam.com and all of our future events. Wait, what the hell is happening to me now? Honey, what's for dinner? This is bullshit! Lobby. She called out. Again, there was only silence. Then suddenly behind her, she heard a sound. She turned around and saw her boyfriend, Steve, with his belt wrapped around his neck, hanging from the back of the door. And he was drenched in blood. <laughs> <laughs> I meant the wrong camp. Now this Cropsy was a sadist. I mean, he got real pleasure out of hurting people, scaring them. And he had these garden shears, you know? kind with long, thin blades. He carried them all the time, wherever he went. And he had this kind of demonic way of looking at you. One time, this Cropsy really went after this kid from Brooklyn. Followed him around night and day. He made this kid's life living hell. But this time, he chose the wrong guy. Because the kid and some of his buddies had planned a little prank that would scare the living shit out of Cropsy. Only problem was, they never found his body. He survived. No. He lives on whatever he can. Oh man. I'm back? I'm back? Welcome back. Did you bring me back? Well, 
To be honest, I completely forgot about you. I think it might have been set to automatically bring me back because it's Friday the 13th. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. So what happened to you? <sighs> Apocalypse, you? Well, you sent me to a medley of slasher camps. I, I assumed it was to protect me from the apocalypse. But, oh, man, I'm... I'm pretty sure I died a couple cool times. Cool story. Uh, if I remember correctly, you were supposed to bring me back a Survivor's Guilt video covering the ultimate camp killer. Oh, yeah, here. I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And this is one of three. Get the f*** out of my house! What? I, I did what you asked. I did a video covering the ultimate camp killing machine. You're a f***ing idiot. You thought I was talking about the thing for our Friday the 13th Mutant Palooza Bash? Get the f*** out of my house! Oh shoot, you were talking about me covering some Friday the 13th flicks. Oh man, boy is my face red. I said, get the f*** out of my house! Yeah, n no problem, but hey, is it safe to go out there? Get the f*** out of my house before I throw this beer at your face. Let me finish it first, though. Okay, 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 I'm leaving. Let's not be too dramatic here. One more time, and it's the last time I'm gonna say it. Get the f*** out of my house. Hey, can I borrow your phone real quick? I just don't really know where I am, and it's kind of scary. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>